Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In today's class we are going to learn in details about production machines and tooling. We are studying introduction and overview of manufacturing. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Manufacturing operations are accomplished using machinery and tooling, and people. The extensive use of machinery in manufacturing began with the Industrial Revolution. It was at that time that metal cutting machines started to be developed and widely used. These were called machine tools, which are power driven machines used to operate cutting tools previously operated by hand. Modern machine tools are described by the same basic definition, except that the power is electrical rather than water or steam, and the level of precision and automation is much greater today. Machine tools are among the most versatile of all production machines. They are used to make not only parts for consumer products, but also components for other production machines. Both in a historic and a reproductive sense, the machine tool is the mother of all machinery. Other production machines include presses for stamping operations, forge hammers for forging, rolling mills for rolling sheet metal, welding machines for welding, and insertion machines for inserting electronic components into printed circuit boards. The name of the equipment usually follows from the name of the process. Production equipment can be general purpose or special purpose. General purpose equipment is more flexible and adaptable to a variety of jobs. It is commercially available for any manufacturing company to invest in. Special purpose equipment is usually designed to produce a specific part or product in very large quantities. The economics of mass production justify large investments in special purpose machinery to achieve high efficiencies and short cycle times. This is not the only reason for special purpose equipment, but it is the dominant one. Another reason may be because the process is unique and commercial equipment is not available. Some companies with unique processing requirements develop their own special purpose equipment. Production machinery usually requires tooling that customizes the equipment for the particular part or product. In many cases, the tooling must be designed specifically for the part or product configuration. When used with general purpose equipment, it is designed to be exchanged. For each work part type, the tooling is fastened to the machine and the production run is made. When the run is completed, the tooling is changed for the next work part type. When used with special purpose machines, the tooling is often designed as an integral part of the machine. Because the special purpose machine is likely being used for mass production, the tooling may never need changing except for replacement of worn components or for repair of worn surfaces. The type of tooling depends on the type of manufacturing process. In this table, we list examples of special tooling used in various operations. We will learn about them in details in the next chapters when we will discuss these processes. So, we have studied in details about production machines and tooling. Thank you.